up everybody? Jim Monster 81. Okay, the purpose of my video today is to answer a question that I got asked. I think it was over the weekend. Um, somebody had asked me uh, pretty much how do you eat all your meals pretty much like in a fast paced life. Let's say, let's say for instance like college. If you're in college or you just work a lot um, or you're just a very busy person in general, how do you fit all your meals in? Um, in a in a sit in a day, should I say? Uh, first of all, um, I don't want to bash things or just always make it sound like I'm, you know, against what a lot of people who are professional in bodybuilding and stuff like that do, do and say. Um, you know, but like eating six times a day and stuff like that, you don't really have to eat six times a day. So let's get that point across first. You don't have to eat six times a day. You can eat four times a day. You know, you can eat three times a day and have two protein shakes or something, you know, you can mix and match, but you don't have to eat six times. Just know that you don't have to eat six times. Um, I know for me, excuse me, got to drink your water. I know for me, uh, I used to eat six times a day, real small meals. And um, I have my diet plan, or should I say, scheduled out, you know, by the hour, by the two hours, you know, and everything. And it pretty much, it was telling me everything I needed to eat and stuff like that. Well, over the course of, you know, a year or so, I've kind of scaled that down to eating probably about three times a day um, and having about two to two and a half protein shakes. Um, but that's just how I do things. Now, to pretty much try to answer the question, though, um, the way I do it, and you can try to, you can learn from me if you want, um, or you can take my advice. But what I would do is every day, every morning, um, when I was eating four to five meals a day, when I was really trying to hit the weights hard, so I was making sure I was on schedule with everything I did. Um, what I would do is every night, and I know you've seen a lot of people do this, you know, pretty much prepare all your meals, cook all your meals and stuff like that. Uh, I would take all my meals, and I got a lunch box that got speakers on it that my wife got me for Father's Day. Um, but I take all my meals, snacks, everything. I take it all with me in this nice size lunch box. And I take it everywhere I go. Still to this day, I do it. I take it everywhere I go. I don't care if I'm out um, at training and I'm stuck. Like, because obviously I'm a Marine, so I'm training all the time. And I don't care where I go. When I go to work, if I leave my office, that little bag goes everywhere with me. I eat my food cold. Some people um, always have to put their food in the microwave or bring stuff to work that's microwavable and stuff like that. If you're eating your chickens and your fish and your broccolis and your rice, Take that crap to work with you. Take it with you everywhere you go. And if the time says you need to be eating right now, are you feeling like you need to eat something? Are you hungry? You know, pop open your little lunch box and get the munching. Um, like if you're in college, um, one of the guys I work with, um, he said that the college, um, the college life is pretty, you know, I don't, I don't want to say too fast paced, but he said that being in college and trying to maintain a job, college and eating and stuff like that, you can get off track. Um, for you college guys, I say the same thing. I think it's generic. Take your chow, Marine Corps language, I'm sorry. Take your lunch or your food everywhere you go. I don't care. I take it everywhere. I wake up in the morning time. I pack everything in the morning because I like to leave it all staged in the fridge. But I take it all out. I put it in my nice little lunch bag. Or, you know, I got also I got another bag. It's probably about, about yay big. You know, I dump everything in that bag in the morning time. I don't care what it is for lunch. I, all my little drink mixes for the day. I think I think I take two Hawaiian Punch five calorie drink mixes with me every day. Um, I take three bottles of water and a gallon of water with me every day. Uh, I take um, all three of my well actually yeah two of my dishes because I get home at a decent time. But I take two of my dishes to work, um, a snack, and I take my protein. And no matter what I'm doing throughout the day, I take it all with me. And for protein shakes, just take your cup. Dump your protein powder in your cup, and no matter where you are, if it's protein shake time, no matter where you are, if you got that little bag with you that got you know your little lunch in it, you take that, you take that little, open that bag up, you take it out, take out your little cup, dump you some water in it, shake it up, and boom, you got your protein shake. Now, this is something else that you can do when it comes out to protein um, for the day. You can take your scooper, so you don't have to, if you got a big five. Um, pound container like I do or like the two pound and you don't want to carry it everywhere with you with your little lunch bag or whatever if you don't want to carry it everywhere what you can do is uh however many scoops you need for the day so let's say if you're going to drink two protein shakes 
well, let's say three. Let's say if you're going to drink three protein shakes and you know it's one scoop per protein shake. You take a, uh, a sandwich bag, you take three scoops, dump it in one, two, three. You put your scooper in it and you close it up. Leave your protein at the house. You got a little gar little, little glad bag, a little sandwich bag full of protein. Boom. There you go. You can even put that in your, in your pocket or something. I don't know. But the moral of the story is, for me and my advice to you guys, especially if you're eating on a, if you're eating and you live in a fast paced life, you're working, you know, you're going to school, you're doing a lot of things where that you're so active that you you can forget about it. Um, take a lunch box, small one, something small. And I, I'm sorry that I didn't bring mine up here. Um, but take a small lunch box and put all your food in there. Carry it everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. You might look like a square. You might look like a lame to some people. And why this dude guy always got this little bag? Hey, you got your you got your food in there, you know. And if you even want to be more technical, you can take that little bag with you to the gym too. So when you get done, you can open it up, hit the protein shake, and if you want to, you can eat then. But take it with you everywhere you go. You gotta get fast food because that's the kind of lifestyle you live in, man. Um, try your best to stay away from a lot of the fried foods, you know, like, um, I don't want to say Popeye's, KFC and stuff like that, because you can't go and get that stuff, but, I mean, if, if it was me, um, I would say go with something like Chick-fil-A, um, stay with the grilled chicken and every, everywhere you go, try to stay with the grilled chicken, get rid of the fried food, um, if you're going fast food, if you go to McDonald's, stick with the grilled chicken, get like a grilled chicken snack wrap, um, I think a lot of these, um, fast food places have like, 100 calorie menus or something like that. Try to stay on that side of the menu. Um, eat the salads. Um, get the fruit cups. Uh, or get the fruit in general. Um, but stick with the salads. Stick with the grilled chicken. Stay away from all the, the, the nasty ground beef because it's not 93.7 lean. Obviously, if you, ever, if you haven't, go watch the movie Food, Inc. And you'll probably not eat fast food again because I try my best. Um, I ain't going to even say I try my best. I don't eat fast food. The only fast food restaurant that I go to is Chick-fil-A. And I ain't gonna lie about that. I would go to Chick-fil-A in a heartbeat and get me some chicken sandwiches from Chick-fil-A. But, uh, watch that movie Food Inc. Um, it'll stop you from wanting to eat fast food if you got a fast food craving. But, like I say, just going back and tell what I was just saying, if you gotta eat fast food, try your best to stick with the grilled chicken. Stay on the, the, the lower calorie sides of the menu. Eat the salads. You know, eat the fruits. And stuff like that, and get your look. Try to get your veggies in that way. You can eat fast food if you want. Um, make sure it fits in your diet. Uh, obviously, if you um, not really, let's say, if you're losing weight, and I don't want to go too deep in this because I can keep going. But you know, if you're losing weight and you had a caloric deficit or whatever, as long as you fitting everything into your your, your caloric intake, but, um, and you fine. To my subscriber that asked me that question, I hope that kind of answers your question too. Um, and for everybody else who's watching, I hope that made sense. Um, just like I said, the moral of the, moral of the story is just take your food everywhere you go. There's nothing wrong with eating on the go and having it with you at all times. I mean, you carry everything else with you. You carry your wallet with you. You make sure you got your cell phone. So why not make sure you got your lunch with you? Why not make sure you got all that food with you that you need to eat for the day to get all your macronutrients and all that stuff in for the day? Take it with you. Take it with you. Take it with you everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. It's been Jam Monster 81 to all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I try to make this fun. Uh, like I said, I'm enjoying this. This is great. Um, I'm having a good time doing this. Um, stand by for some more videos. I'm trying to get a new video with a guy that I've been working out in the gym with for at least two months. He done lost a lot of weight. Um, I wish, I think he has a before picture, but right now he's lost like, you know, 15, 20 pounds. And I really want to. Get a good, some good footage of me and him in the gym at least once because I'm going to be leaving here and I'm going to leave him here in Cleveland, Ohio and I'm going to be getting ready to go back to California. So, you know, I want to at least get one good, you know, video with me and him working out and stuff like that. And hopefully he'll talk to you guys. We'll see. Um, but that's in the future. But anyway, I got to go. Gym Monster 81. I catch your balls on the flip side. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Press the button. Hit the like button. Peace.